Hello everybody, it is Andrew here from IDB with Safe Alarm 3. Many, many people rely on their alarms every single day to make sure that they get up. And sometimes the stock clock app, alarm app, really isn't cutting it. Well, thanks to Safe Alarm 3, you have tons of per alarm options. So we're gonna add a new alarm inside of the clock app. Of course, you can set the time on the top here, just like as you always could. Then you can choose the days of the week. Previously in stock alarm app, it would actually take you to a separate page to choose. Here you can actually just tap on them. It's a lot quicker than it was in the past. Sounds have been updated. Instead of just choosing a sound or a ringtone or an alarm, or whatever, or a song, you can actually go in here and actually choose things like playlists. So you aren't stuck listening to the same song every single morning or changing it per alarm. You can choose a playlist of a few of your favorite songs and go with that instead. So obviously all the other sounds are in here, but really neat option to choose a playlist instead. That's one of my particular favorite parts of this tweak. Now, honestly, that's just kind of tinkering with the UI of the stock app. But if we look below that, we have this new section called Safe Alarm 3 that we can enable. And here's where it gets really cool. I can change that snooze duration. I can make it longer or shorter, whatever I want to be. I may want to make it 10 minutes instead of nine, a more even number. I can change that volume option so it's always going to be that uh, volume and you never have to worry about it being in silent mode. I can have it vibrate on ring, I can change the auto dismiss time for how long it'll keep ringing before it, you know, just stops ringing on you. And then there's this one down here at the bottom called Calc Alarm, which is kind of cool. It actually just gives you a little like math problem to solve before you can disable your alarm. There's lots of regular apps in the app store that do things like that. I think that's really kind of cool because you kind of have to start mentally stimulating yourself before you actually turn the alarm off and you just don't fall back asleep again. So let's go ahead and lock the phone, set an alarm, and see how this works, with, especially with that calc alarm in place. So first it's going to show up, it's going to play songs or music or whatever you have set. You can do this math problem here and we have it on normal, so it's kind of basic problem, five times nine, 45 get in. They're, they do go up in difficulty, so up to like lifeless is, an, is one, and I, I still could not figure that out with having music calculator. It was insane. Uh, and then, of course, you can see I hit snooze, and I do have a 10-minute snooze instead of a 9-minute snooze. So if you don't want 9 minutes, you can go up or down. It's kind of a neat little option that you can configure there. Speaking of configuration, let's jump into settings. So, of course, we have these uh, options on the top for the different button actions, the sleep, volume, and home buttons. And you can choose what each of those buttons do. For me, I tend to accidentally hit the volume button when I'm taking it out of the dock in the morning, and I don't want it to actually do anything. So I can actually put that onto nothing and leave the other ones to snooze and stop that alarm. You can also flash the screen. So maybe you want some additional light or you're hard of hearing and you want some other detail to, to help wake you up in the morning. You can actually have the screen flash and choose the color as well. Really nice little touch. Inside of the clock app, some basic settings here. You can actually turn on a light mode, bearing how back it was before. Uh, you can turn on tap to edit, toggle the all buttons, you can control all of them at once, and that custom lock screen alarm. Down here under general, we do have the alarm notifications, so if you want to show the buttons always on the, the home screen, do you want it to uh, blur the background when that alarm comes up? There's also this thing called time until alarm. You can enable it in different spots, like inside of the clock app, it'll actually tell you how long until that alarm shows up. You can choose the time format, the font size, all of that. Also, you can do it on the lock screen as well. So you can just have that always persistent showing up this long until the next alarm. Then of course there are activator gestures you can use to turn on all the alarms or snooze alarm, stop, anything you want to do with those activator gestures. And then there's the defaults. So this is going to be what's going to show up every time you create a new alarm and enable safe alarm three. So that is it. This is an absolutely fantastic app and it is available right now inside of Cydia for only $1.99, but it is built for iOS 10. If you owned a previous version, you can only pick it up for a dollar. And if you're still jailbroken on iOS 9, definitely check out the Safe Alarm 3 for iOS 9 version instead. Let us know what you guys think down in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe. Till next time, this is Andrew for IDB.